Hello everyone. Let's start a new result. If X is a compact matrix space and if Pn is a Cauchy sequence in X, then Pn converges to a point of X. We have earlier done a result that if X is a compact matrix space and if Pn is a Cauchy sequence in X, then some subsequence of Pn converges to a point of X, right? Here we have to prove that this Pn converges to a point of X. So let's start with the proof. Actually, in this proof, we are using three results, which have already proved earlier. So let's see how I'm using those three results. Let's start with the proof. This is a very important theorem. So what we have given, we have given a compact matrix space X and a Cauchy sequence is given in that matrix space. So let's define this Pn to be a Cauchy sequence. in a compact matrix space X. Right? So for n equal to 1, 2, 3, so on, I'm defining En to be equal to sequence Pn such that n is greater than or equal to this capital N, which is equal to a sequence like Pn, Pn plus 1, so on. Right? So then we know that the diameter for this En, what is diameter of En? The supremum distance between the points of En. This diameter will be equal to 0 if I take limit n tends to infinity. This we have proved. Now, this also implies that limit n tends to infinity diameter for E n bar is also equal to 0. Why? Because we know that Diameter of En is equal to diameter of En bar. We have proved this result also. We have proved this in earlier classes. Now, En bar is what? En bar is a closure of En. So, it is a closed subset, right? So, since En bar is a closed subset of compact set X and there is a theorem that every closed subset of a compact set is compact so my EN bar is also compact now therefore EN bar is compact and if En is containing En plus 1, because we have defined our En to be as this Pn sequence for n greater than or equal to n. So this is also true for En bar, right? So what is our set look like? This E1 bar is containing this E2 bar, is containing this E3 bar, so on. Right now forget this point P, just see that since En is containing En plus 1, right? As because En starts from Pn and En plus 1 will start from Pn plus 1, right? This sequence will be Pn plus 1, sorry. then it's Pn plus 2, so on. So E1 is containing E2, right? So on, further on. So E1 is your bigger set. 
likewise en bar is also your bigger set so if en is containing en plus 1 because en bar is a closure of en so its closure is also containing en plus 1 closure right for all n belonging to n now since e n bar what is e n bar it is a sequence of compact sets it is a sequence of compact sets because we have proved that this e n bar is compact we know that this e n bar is compact so e n bar is a sequence of compact sets now i'm using the result now such that e n bar is containing en plus 1 bar for all n belonging to natural numbers and also we know that <coughs> if i limit my n to be infinity on the diameter of en bar then this is equal to 0 whenever this thing happens we know the result that intersection of all these en bar consist of exactly one point this result we have done earlier right we have proved this result so intersections of all this e n bar and going from one to infinity consists of exactly one point and say that point to be p belonging to that x so all these intersections will contain a point p because all these intersections contain the point p that means p will be contained in each e n bar so p is containing in each e n bar so from here we can say that there is precisely one point P of X, sorry, P which belongs to X. Is also belonging to each EN bar. Right? Or EN closure. Right? So now, uh, let Epsilon be positive. Let's be given and since limit n tends to infinity diameter of en bar is equal to zero can i use the definition for convergence here for this epsilon yes because if you see that whenever your limit n tends to infinity pn equal to any limit l we are writing the mod of pn minus l to be less than epsilon same thing i'm doing here if my diameter en bar on that limit n tends to infinity is zero then for epsilon positive there exists a positive integer n m such that this diameter of e n bar is strictly less than epsilon for all n greater than equal to m and also since p is belonging to e n bar right therefore the distance between this p and p n this is less than epsilon why c diameter of e n bar is less than epsilon what is the meaning for the diameter for e n bar means the supremum distance between the points of e n bar right the supremum distance between the points of e n bar is strictly less than epsilon now what are the points for e n bar as p is also containing an e n bar and p n is also belonging to e n bar that means whatever may be the distance between p and pn both these are the points of en bar 
So if the maximum distance is less than epsilon, supremum distance of E n bar of the points in E n bar is strictly less than epsilon, then whatever may be the distance, that distance is also less than epsilon, right? For n greater than or equal to m. Here capital N is there, so I have written capital N. Here small n is there, so I have written small n, right? But epsilon was arbitrary. Epsilon was arbitrary. So what this distance less than epsilon means, Pn is converging to P. This is whenever this thing happens, we write Pn is converging to P. This is just definition for the convergence. So thus, what is Pn actually? It is a Cauchy sequence. So we say that the Cauchy sequence Pn converges to the point P of X. Finished. Easy. All right. Thank you for watching this video. A very important theorem in the next video. I am proving that that every Cauchy sequence converges in RK, right? So that theorem is also very important. So let's meet in the next video. Thank you.